Hi, my name is Angus Ho with Daddy Debt, a part of the Ash Management Group. I want to show how you can budget as a full-time engineer, make real estate investments, and live an exceptional family life as a dad. So, come along with me in this journey of wealth. Quest Trade has been providing Canadians with rock-bottom fees on a full range of investments. It is Canada's largest discount broker. They offer a large range of products like stock trades, mutual funds, non-commissioned ETFs, bonds, and even the ability to invest directly in gold and silver. I've seen so many of their commercials and they are well known for ads that ask the question that other brokerage firms take a commission, but Quest Trade takes much less. Why are my mutual fund fees so high? My returns so low, and yet you guys keep putting up record profits year after year. You'll see the results in the end. It's a long-term game. Quest Trade started in 1999 in Toronto, Canada. Their aim was and remains to offer DIY investors a low-cost alternative to Canada's large banks and brokerages. In 2014, the platform entered the robo-advisor market by adding prefab portfolios of low-fee investments. Robo-advisors are digital platforms that provide automated, algorithm-driven investment services with little to no human supervision. Now, Questrade has $9 billion in assets under management and C50,000 new accounts open each year. Wealthsimple is a Canadian financial services provider that offers a suite of online products. Wealthsimple became popular with their robo-advisor that offers beginners or investors who prefer to be hands-off a choice of investment portfolios to suit their needs, to suit their risk tolerance and financial goals. The robo-advisor is a set-it-and-forget-it portfolio of low-fee exchange traded funds. There are three different types of offering including Wealthsimple Invest, Wealthsimple Trade, and Wealthsimple Cash. Wealth Simple began with the millennial entrepreneur Michael Katchen. As of today, Wealth Simple has more than 150,000 clients and $5 billion in assets under management. So let's dive right into these two brokerages and let me show you around. I'm just creating an account here with Quest Trade. You have a selection between the margin account, a TFSA, an RRSP, a Forex account, even a Quest Wealth portfolio. I'm just going to open the margin account here. Let's click that. All right. So, open now. Let's get started. Press continue. So, so far this process has been pretty easy to open a new account. Now I'm just going to have to select the username and key in some of my details. Alright, user ID. Let's choose daddy debt. And now a password. Hit continue. Not too sure why it's uh, taking a little bit of time to load. There we go. All right. Looks like it's uh, partially open. I have this. Uh, I need to set up my profile. Or I can have my account ready to go so yeah I um, will have to get put input my personal employment financial and citizenship information So the first part is the employment. It asks for whether or not I am full-time, part-time, and whether or not where I work is part of a political entity, or if I am a director, 
level or higher in any of these companies. In the next section, it asks for your employer's information, the company name, the address, and any regulatory reasons that will make you ineligible to trade with Quest Trade. If you are unsure, make sure to check with the financial advisor, or in most cases, you would probably be answering no to these questions. In this section, you are asked to enter your financial information, your salary, your assets, and your liabilities to calculate your net worth. This helps with them calculating your net worth for margin accounts. Financials are done. On to citizenship. This section asks you to confirm your citizenship for tax and legal purposes. All right, looks like three more steps to go and then we can start trading. All right, so officially time to do my consent and communication sections. This one just goes over whether or not I want paper or electronic versions so if I had to vote and stuff. And then probably moving on to a lot of legal stuff where I just need to sign and waive my liabilities and stuff like that. So I will get doing that. I'll be right back. All right, time to upload my government issued photo ID. Proves I am who I am saying. All right, on to the next section. This is where I need to upload some of my documents to prove my address and my name so that they match. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, on to the last section where I have to fund the account. They have many options like interact e-transfer, online banking, pre-authorized deposits, and transfer account to Quest Trade. I'm just gonna do the online banking method for this and I'm going to put around $1,000 as it is the minimum to start a Quest Trade account. Let's do it. All right, looks like the process is completed. I, once the money moves in, we can start trading. Let's just click on a trade just to see what's going to happen. Oh, looks like I have to do a few more agreements here while I complete that. My next part will be on Wealthsimple. Wealthsimple provides three kinds of accounts, invest, cash, and trade. Today, I'll be opening the trade account. Let's get you set up. Add your personal details. Let's go. Wealthsimple asks a series of questions to set up your account. What is your first name? What is your last name? What is your date of birth? What's your phone number? What's your gender? Your residential address. You can choose to use your mailing address as your residential address or you can select a new one. Where do you work? Now let's get into your employment information. What kind of company is it? What's your role at the company? What's your social insurance number required for tax purposes? And does any of these statements apply whether you were a director of a company or if you have any financial interest, any company? All right, last question. How did you hear about us? And all right, now that we are in the trade section, let's see how we can make a trade. This is the account tab of Quest Trade. So you can see that I have a thousand dollars cash in Canadian dollars and around $782 in USD. On the right is a panel of the order entry 
the positions and my balances. Let's try buying Tesla stocks, see how hard it is. All right, TSLA, probably be only buy one share. Limit price, let's do maybe $700 so that my trade doesn't execute. And buy, it's pretty simple actually, pretty easy to use. Alright, let's see what their watch lists are like. This looks like a default watch list. Let's see if I can create my own. Manage watch list. Ah, so I can create my own. Let's create the uh, Angus main watch list. Pretty easy so far, pretty intuitive. And then there it is, my watch list. Let's add Tesla into my watch list so I can keep my eye on it. Alright, stocks. Let's see what happens if I add Tesla on the view. There it is, it gives you all the information like the fundamentals. The news, options for Tesla that I can purchase for something like the GameStop short squeeze. Oh, look at that recently viewed stock! And then there's some alerts I can create. based on if the share changed in price by a certain percentage. All right, let's look at other things that you can trade with Quest Trade. They also have Forex and contracts for difference, mutual funds. Let's check out the one I love, TDB645. That's a TD Science and Technology Fund. Oh look, it's available to trade on Quest Trade. That's pretty cool. Precious metals. They say that you can buy and sell real gold and silver here. They will even deliver the gold to your house. Or you can rent out the storage through Quest Trade. Also, you can look into fixed income and GICs. They actually don't have as large of a selection like the big banks do and now they have a new feature where you can invest in IPOs get in early that's the tour of quest trade let's move on to wealth simple wealth simple unfortunately does not allow you to trade on the desktop application so you have to have a smartphone or tablet all right let's take a look at how Wealthsimple works. So when you hit the trade, Wealthsimple will categorize some of the most popular stocks so that you can quickly make a decision on what you want to trade. They also have a list of top 100 stocks, most active stocks, top gainers, top losers, for you to choose from. All right, let's take a look at some of the categories that you can quickly choose from. Like engineering, so let's take a look at what's available there. Ooh, Amazon. Snap, I own that. So some pretty good companies that I would invest in. There's also a search option. Let's take a look at what Neo is doing. Hmm. If I wanted to buy Neo, let's see how difficult it is. Select my personal account. Let's just buy one just to see what it looks like. Hit continue. And then you can choose what kind of buy you want. I'm going to go with the limit buy. And then ask how much would I pay for a limit. 
and then I'm going to select one for this limit and it tells me that the market is closed so I cannot make this order. Let's just take a look at the crypto and see how hard it is to create account there. Ask me to open a crypto account. Let's go continue. We need to ask you a few questions. Let's see what kind of questions they have. Have you ever invested in crypto before? I have not. Have you ever used a product or service to buy and sell your own investment? Yes, but only for securities. How much of your investment in crypto are you prepared to lose due to market volatility? I'm going to say I'm willing to lose all my investment. So it explains what is crypto and then how it works. People don't offer any investment advice. They make sure that you understand the risk and I have to agree to it. So let's confirm. And then I've to sign some acknowledgements and it should be opened. Before I go, I thought I'd share some of my thoughts on the overall application process and the difference between Quest Trade and Wealth Simple. I think Quest Trade honestly is the better platform as they have the desktop version and the app version. You can trade both ways. I found that Quest Trade requires a minimum of thousand dollars to start trading, so the barrier to entry was is a little tougher. However, Wealth Simple does not have a minimum and you can start trading with very little money. One thing I do like about Wealth Simple is that it helps you categorize some of the stocks so that the best options are available to you very quickly. The Wealth Simple application process was a little simpler, however, it's not that great of a benefit. Now that I have $1,500 in both of these accounts, I want to take on your suggestions on what I should buy. So if you don't mind, leave some comments down below on what you think I should purchase. I wouldn't mind either the EV sector, the cryptocurrency, or even in the marijuana stocks. So make sure you let me know. If you want to continue discussing stocks, please join me at the Daddy Dad Facebook group. I hope to see you next time and I hope that this video helped you decide between Quest Trade or Wealth Simple. If you would like to hear more budgeting, engineering, or real estate tips, please leave a comment down below on what you want to hear. Smash that like button, subscribe button, and be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I post new videos every week on Mondays and Thursdays. From the Ash Management Group, this is Daddy Debt saving you money.